Okay, Lionel Messi has retired, and now the young stars of Barcelona, they're starting to shine, filling the void left by the greatest player of all time. There's still something missing, though. That iconic number 10 shirt is currently vacant. I say today we change that. So drop me a like if you are enjoying the series, and I say we get right into it. Now, first comment today, get Jamal Musiala as he would be a great Messi replacement, or Florian Verts. Yeah, I've seen a lot of comments about these two players here, Musiala and also Florian Verts. Now, next episode will be in the January transfer window, so there's definitely possibility there. Now, next one, can you do a Paul Pogba career mode? Yeah, so apparently he's gonna be back in what, March officially actually playing games? I think like training in January. I've always liked Paul Pogba, you know, he's a he's a really fun player to watch. So I'm glad he's gonna be back. I'm not sure when he's gonna be put back in FC25. We could do like a video about him though. And now this last comment is asking for a Manchester United or Chelsea career mode. Now, I pretty much know what team we're gonna do after Barcelona. It's not United, it's not Chelsea. It is a Premier League team though. And it's a team that I last did, I think in FIFA 23. I'm pretty sure that's our next crew mode after this. But okay, so currently so far in to season three. We are 2-0 in the Champions League, and we currently have a four-point lead in La Liga over Real Madrid 10 games in. So it's been a very solid start. It's still early, but it's been a solid start. Our tactic change and also signing Trent Alexander-Arnold, so far it looks like a pretty good move. There is still though so much football left this season. Now, as you see here, Lamine Yamal is currently 90 rated. He's having overall a much better season than last year. And like I said, after Messi retired, the number 10 is currently vacant. I think if it has to go to one player, it's got to go to Lamine Yamal. It just has to. So Yamal is going to go from 19 to the iconic number 10 and we have a new number 10 in this team it's a lot of pressure and hype to live up to but if there's one player that could do it it's probably him we'll see if he plays even better with that uh with that new number but okay first game of today is versus manchester city yeah it's quite a big test for our first game of today we're both 2-0 in the champions league uh pedri is currently suspended for this game so hulman starts at cdm diong moves to the number eight spot and we go with that versus uh, manchester city here yeah this will be a very good test for us facing a team like this we uh beat inter last episode which was a good sign of uh progress if we can win here that'd be another big sign so yoker gets us kicked off we got a new number 10 in the team let's try and get a win now one thing i did change was trend was playing as a false back which makes a lot of sense you know with his uh his play style but i feel like he wasn't going forward enough and like balde gets forward a lot so i've made uh, him a, an attacking fullback like balde or no actually a wing back so i'm hoping that means trend will get more forward i mean lays it off to the Ake, okay what a tackle the still has it yoker gets it okay it goes to uh finally back to man city that was so awkward okay, foden has so much space here balde is catching up though balde needs to defend this balde that is some good defending it's awkward but it is gonna work out into trend okay that's what I want to see. Trent making those runs. Now he's going to play a perfect ball to Lamine Mall, who is onside. Lamine Mall's shot is going to be saved. Oh, that was a great chance. That was a great ball by Trent. And so far, I'd say it's a very uh, competitive game. Vinya into Ansu. Ansu gives it to Yokerez. Yokerez. Ansu tries to steal it, but he's not going to get through all those uh, Man City players. Now that is a mess of an attempt to tackle Holland in the box of Raul. That is a great block. That was a real mess though. Oh man, Holland got on the inside of Kunde. Kunde somehow got around him though. I'm not sure how Kunde did that. I thought Holland was gonna get shot away for sure. Okay, we're playing a little loose with it. That's gonna be halftime. This is definitely close. I'm still not sure how Kunde got around Holland there to make that tackle. I'm still not sure. Yamal definitely had the biggest chance so far. Okay, again like that. That is a bit awkward, but it works out for us. Finia is gonna get out to Ansu. Ansu hold it. Finia now is gonna play to Balde. This is a great move, Balde. Oh, I thought I was going to get a nice pass in Yokerez there. We did not. Trent, decent ball to Rafinha. Rafinha gets it to Hillman. Now, Hillman is going to play a great ball to Trent. Okay, he's making way more runs. So I want to see. The ball to Yokerez is not that great, though. Yeah, so far this game, they've kind of shut down uh, Yokerez. It reminds me of what Arsenal did in the Champions League last year when we lost. Ansu, 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 Fati. What a steal. We got a lot of space to occupy. Ansu is making a run. Ansu. Is not a goal for the shot himself? And Ansu Fati has scored the first goal of the game, 68th minute. Bro, he is becoming the surprise of the series. He's our second top scorer right now. I guess the, the pressure of not having the number 10 anymore, it's kind of worked the opposite way for him. He's playing better now. Steals the ball and he just scores easily. For some reason, he's only 82 rated, but he feels way higher than that. Okay, I'm going to do Gavi for uh, De Jong and then Danny Olmo for Rafinha. Let's do that. I just can't believe how good Ansu's been in this series. I was saying that. Okay, we just took the lead. We can't lose it. Oh, Kunde had no chance. Oh, I went a little bit too far. We had no chance to recover there. Holland gets one shot and they tie it up immediately three minutes after. That is just terrible defending by me. Once I ran right there, I knew I couldn't catch up to him. All right, 1-1 with about 20 minutes to go. Foden's now in. This is gone from bad to very worse around well good defending get it to ter Stegen. now get it out we survived that little sequence up uh, barely good tackle there gabby into hillman hillman back to gabby into danny Omo. we got three minutes this is the last chance right here yokerez turns lamine receives the ball goes round one. Oh, Ake just gets over lamine couldn't turn fast enough okay i think that's gonna be it i think the ref's gonna blow up full time and he is okay facing probably one of the best teams in the world like the top three best teams in the world i don't mind a one-on-one draw away we definitely played our worst game of the season so far so i'm not mad
We definitely missed uh, Pedri that game. I feel like when it's De Jong and Hillman, Hillman is just not as quick. So for a two-man midfield, he can't cover as much ground. That's what makes this Pedri and De Jong pairing so good. So I feel like that might have been the difference that game. We couldn't create as many chances without Pedri. But thankfully, now he's back for the next game, which is also a tough game. We got nothing but tough games in this episode. We are now facing Atletico Madrid. So they're in eighth place. They have not had a good start to the year. They got four losses already. And a win here could see us jump to, what, a six-point lead? As I think Real Madrid draw more points. Yeah, they drew with Real Batiste. So this is a big game to gain more points on Real Madrid. We just definitely need to be sharper than the last game. We could easily lost that game. So our first little uh, setback of the season, although it's not a huge setback, if we win this game, we'll be right back on track. And I feel like in this series, we've done pretty well against Atletico Madrid. I want to see that continue. Good, day, good tackle now. Okay, De Jong. Slide it to Pedri. He is going to make him run on Sue. I think he's in already on Sue. A chance for the first goal of the game. Good save by All Black, though. All right, Trent to uh, Kunde Corner. Looks good. Kunde's header was so powerful. Oh, that's a really good ball to their right uh, right winger, I think, to Kinsesa out now. His pass, though, is terrible. They should have done so much better with that. All day, throw ball to Ansu. Ansu is going to get it to Yokerez. Yokerez going to turn that defender. Oh, destroyed him. Yokerez in the box shot. Yokerez is back to life. Had a quiet game versus Man City, but this man loves scoring against Letico Madrid. In this series alone, he's probably scored like 12 plus goals versus this team. And that's another one. Ansu once again to Yokerez. I feel like whatever their defense tactics are, they just don't do well against us at all. Ansu has got a pass. Yokerez, Yokerez to Pedri. Oh, that's actually Rafinha, and that's going to be 2-0. It's as simple as that. That is our new tactic working beautifully, though. Rafinha, once again, making that run down the middle behind Yokerez. Just uh, played to perfection. All right, 2-0 in 30 minutes. Once again, it's going uh, pretty much how it's gone in the series. We are dominating Letico Madrid. Now, one player I thought about signing in the summer was uh, Julian Alvarez. Of course, we're playing against him in this game. That could be another target for January. It could be. I don't know if he'd play at Cam on the wing or what, but that could be another target. That would probably make Rafinha, obviously, not a starter anymore, but it is definitely an option. Now, Rafinha yeah, saying that though, that's a great ball to Ansu. Ansu cuts inside. There's so much space for Rafinha who shoots. Okay, that's going to be a mess. Yokerez shot. It's going to be saved. I think someone was off uh, offside though. Oh, that's a perfect ball in behind. And Julian Alvarez, the guy I just said it was a target. He just hit the post. I thought he scored that. And that was a perfectly timed pass in behind though. Okay, first half so far so good. If they score that, it might be a bit different, but they didn't score it. Look at Julian Alvarez trying to audition for Barcelona. Oh, Alvarez kind of does Raho there, but Kunde is right back to help cover for him. Jamal is going to get it over to Trent. Now Trent has got a great pass to Rafinha. Rafinha in the box goes for a shot himself and it's going to be 3 0 to Barcelona. Great ball by Trent Alexander Arnold. And it's just more Barcelona domination. Rafinha into Lamine Mall. Across goal to me, and that shot is saved. Yokerez gets it, though, into Balde. Rafinha, De Jong, I want to shoot this. We're shooting this. Why not? That's kind of his long shot spot. Saved. Rebound on Sue. It's going to be another save. Trent corner looks beautiful. And that is going to be 4 0. Kunde scores. Yeah, Trent's corners are so good in this game. And Atletico Madrid just cannot hang with us. Trent has got space for a shot here. Trent actually is going to play it to Lamine Mall. A chance for him to score this game. Lamine Mall scores his first goal since getting that number 10. Okay, finally off the mark again for Lamine Mall. It's been two games without a goal. Or one game. Two games? I think it's been one game. Anyways, he's back on the score sheet and the fans are going wild. That's another assist for uh, Trent, by the way. You know, I started to wonder is number 10, is it too big for uh, Lamine? Mall too. Kind of had a quiet kind of game and a half, but he does get on the score sheet finally. Vinia gets it out to Nacho Molina. Molina into Incapie. Incapie to De Jong. Oh, okay, that was actually meant for uh, Lamini Mall. Brand is going to try to go for a shot there. I am not sure what that was. But okay, full time, a 5 0 win. Atletico Madrid just can't do anything against us. All right, next match is going to be versus Valencia. And this game is going to be a 1 0 win for Barcelona. Lamini Mall scoring. That's very nice to see. And then Champions League versus Sporting 2 1 win. So, standings update we have a six point lead over Real Madrid. And we currently sit first in the Champions League too. So we're still kind of flying here. Now, one little update. Uh, I finally got Rafinha to have a playmaker uh, role. So he has that plus down next to his name at Cam. And also, I think since uh, switching Trent to wing back has definitely helped. He's making those like forward runs a lot more like Balde does. And yeah, he's got seven assists so far. So it's definitely working. Still has not scored his uh, first goal though yet. But next up, Bilbao, a team that always gives me a lot of trouble. I think I might give Nacho Molina a start this game over Ansu, give Ansu a rest. And also, let's play Kabarsi over uh, Araujo. Let's do that. The little Nacho Molina gets a start in, uh, in La Liga. He feels a lot better than just 60 overall like kind of like Ansu actually let's see what he does in this game in a start okay, they got a very early free kick in a very dangerous spot actually gonna be sent in that is gonna be oh that's so dangerous Ter Stegen will catch it though yeah those ones uh scare me Brent is gonna play a good ball up to Lamine oh that's perfect actually Lamine is gonna cut inside Lamine is gonna go for a finesse shot oh that's a, okay Nacho Molina oh he's offside that could have been a nice goal for him all oh, right place right time but he's offside that is sad for the youngster Young is gonna find him all he broke that press there now Yokerez turns 
Gets it through to Lamine Yamal. Lamine left foot. It's saved. And okay, Nacho Molina does get his goal. He's onside this time. The next Lino Messi gets his start and he scores. Like I said, he might be only 60 rated, but he scores and he does well in played games. Kind of in this team, I guess rating doesn't matter. Just right place, right time. That's not a bad finish. Been there since day one, Nacho Molina. It's nice to see him score. That is La Masia right there. You know, Lamine and Trent are kind of building chemistry here. I've seen a lot of good passes between those two. Speaking of that, Trent is in a fine Lamine Yamal. Oh, Lamine, I tried playing it to Rafinha. Whoa, that's a bad pass. Young. Pedri swing it to Nacho Molina. They're pressuring a lot more after we score. Nacho Molina in for another goal. Nacho Molina has two this game. Are you kidding me? Bro, the kid is literally 60 rated. He's got two goals. What is happening? What am I seeing right now? Just good ball in and a very solid finish. All right, 2-0 courtesy of Nacho Molina. That was definitely not expected. Bro, that pass from Trent is disgusting though. Young to Lamine. That's a perfect ball. Lamine into Yokerez. Yokerez. Dribbling through. Is going to get a powerful shot away. Keeper will save it, though. All right, to end the first half. Trent corner in. Yokerez gets to it. What a save again. Okay, Lamine's going to keep it in somehow. Going to try to get it to Rafinha. That doesn't work, though. All right, still, though, another solid first half. It's currently 2-0. I still can't believe Nacho Molina has two goals this game. The kid is looking for the hat trick. Going to play it to Rafinha. Rafinha, oh, the ball is behind him, though. Yokerez going to play in Pedri. We got a chance for three here. Pedri is going to... Okay, he got caught up right there. I didn't think he'd get caught up, but he did. Trent, kind of from his long shot spot. Why not? That is from a stratosphere distance out. Okay, that's going to be saved. That was a little bit too far out. Oh, we just let him run right down the middle. It's Viter Roque, and he's going to score. That's Roque, right? Yeah, it is Roque. Bro, I thought he was going to pass it, and I was blocking the lane. Then when I realized he was going to run, it was too late. Okay, Bobal score. I was too late there. That's just so bad. Oh, it's definitely a game. Roque, Kunde. Doesn't get the tackle in, and Roque has scored two goals in like three minutes. It is currently 2-2. He's destroying me. Okay, I need a Raho on. A Raho on for Kabarsi. I'm going to do, uh, let's do Ansu for Yamal, and then switch him with Molina. So next that ball will make those subs, but it's currently 2-2. This game was like cruising until Roque scored that first goal. Young, main Yamal, over to Molina. Molina. Bring it over, Yokerez. No, I was trying to find Yokerez right there. Bro, this game has changed in literally five minutes. Trent steals that, though, into Yamal. Yamal is going to lose it. Wait, that was a foul, right? Definitely a foul. All right, subs on with 20 minutes to go. Yong, pass to Ansu. Ansu, wait for Balde. Balde is going to play it back to Ansu. No, that, that pass was going to work. Just I was on the wrong side. Okay, this game all of a sudden feels horrible since they scored. We got five minutes. It's like a one chance, maybe. Yong is going to play a great ball to Trent, though. Trent going to play a ball to Yokerez. Yokerez over to Ansu for the winner. And Ansu Fati is going to score the winner. What a move. We are not going to draw this game. We're going to win it 3-2. There's no way I'm losing this. All started by Diong. Great pass to Trent. And then Trent fires it over to Yokerez. Yokerez finds Ansu. And it's a wonderful finish. What a season Ansu Fanti's having. I still can't believe it. He's our lowest rated, uh, pretty much lowest rated player in the starting 11. But he's pretty much been our second best player, third best player. Okay, hold up, hold up. No, Roke. You got to be kidding me. No, no. Araujo, Araujo. Okay, we blocked that shot. Oh my, Araujo saved me. Get this ball out and blow full time. Araujo, I owe you my life right there. Bro, Roque is out to destroy me for selling him. But we barely survived when we win 3-2. Man, that's a very big win to now jump what? Yeah, six points above Real Madrid. That win just feels so good. I still can't believe Ansu Fati, though. He's got 13 goals, nine assists, our lowest rated player in the starting 11. I can't believe he's playing this well. Now, after that, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be a 3-3 draw versus Las Palmas. A uh, scored two, Rafinha scored one, but okay, that's some drop points. We got room, though, to drop points, though, so it's not all bad. We're definitely not going to win every game from here on out, so I'm not too mad about that. And actually, Real Madrid lost, so our lead goes up plus one to seven points. And this year looks like our best chance to win the league, like best chance by far now. Real Madrid are like finally slipping up. But okay, next up is Napoli in the Champions League. Another uh, test in Europe against a very good team. I want to see our team perform. In this series so far, we've done well in the group stages or the league phase of the Champions League, but in the knockout stage, we have not done that well. We definitely played a lot worse in the knockout stages, so this is more practice for that. It's more preparation. Facing these uh, really good teams in Europe, I want to see us perform. Now, Frank and Young up to Yokerez. We got space here. Yokerez gets it out to Lamine Yamal. Lamine cuts inside. Gonna go for a finesse shot. It's gonna go to the keeper, though. And they got Alaba. They got Bernardo Silva. This is a good Napoli team. It's a very different looking Napoli team than the one you'd expect. They have Osman still, though. And I think also still Cavada. Yeah, Lindstrom from uh, Everton, too. Okay, it's definitely interesting. Trent is gonna play a long ball to Ansu that is just disgustingly accurate. Ansu gonna go for a finesse shot of his own. He's closed down, though, by Bernardo Silva. Gunde, De Jong, to Lamine. Lamine. To De Jong, into Yokerez. Oh, Yokerez is in there. That was gonna be so nice. That was close. Okay, now that's a good ball by them. But Araujo, Araujo. Okay, stay strong. Gonna be Kunde with a missed tackle. And then, oh, that's another missed tackle. Bro, this is a really good team. This is actually like a very interesting looking team. Araujo, Kunde, 
and that is decently well defended. Lamina Jokerez. Okay, Lamina Mall is finding space here. Lamina Mall in. Finesse shot Lamine Mall. There we go. Lamine scores and it's 1-0. He is torching whoever's on that left side for them in their defense. Our uh, new number 10 is on the score sheet again. And this is a very solid finish right there on his left foot. All right, 1-0 to Barca. And I believe, yep, 28 minutes. Oh, that's such a good pass to Ozeman. But Ter Stegen, it's an even better save. This game stays at 1-0. Rafinha, man, there's a lot of holes in their back line. Jokerez is exploiting it. Jokerez, Ukmakano kind of got back there. Ansu rebound. Ansu scores off the rebound. It's just always right place, right time. Man, there's a lot of rebound goals this year, though. I score a lot of them. A lot more than last year, but hey, I will take it in this game. 2-0. It was almost 1-1 instead. Two goal, two goal lead for us. Ansu, that's a very accurate finish, though. That was a tight angle. Kunde, good defending on uh, Osman, and that's probably going to be the first half here. Whoa, Trent. Bro, you see his passing? His passing is insane. Game has been close and they've played well, but it's currently 2-0 to us. Pedri into Ansu. Ansu, Balde, Balde. No, Ansu's second, second touch was too heavy, though. Rafinha leading this counterattack. He's going to play it over to Ansu. Jokerez, if you get on the right side, you have a goal here, maybe. Jokerez is on the right side. Lamine, you all, it's another rebound goal. How many of these am I going to score? Okay, though, Lamine's got two goals in the Champions League of Brace. And it is 3-0 uh, to Barcelona. There have been some ugly goals, though, in this game. Ozyman, a chance here. Kunde, it's good defending, though, again. Araujo and Kunde are definitely a good uh, center back partnership. Now, Lamine. Okay, that was meant for Jokerez. It actually was going to Ansu. That is not what I had in mind. I think Kunde, though, is much better as a, uh, a center back. He was a very good right back, but I think he's like an elite center back. At least like game-wise, FC-wise, that's what I feel like. I think having a much better passing and like attacking fullback in Trent has helped us a lot. Just like this Trent. Gonna play it to Lamine Yamal on a hat trick. Looking for it. Lamine cuts inside and Lamine Yamal is gonna get his hat trick. Okay, our new number 10 is coming to life now. 70th minute, 4-0 to Barcelona. That was a much nicer goal right there. Man, last season of this series, you know, after losing Messi, I was not sure how this team was gonna look. I definitely did not think Ansu would be this good to take over that left wing spot. But we look amazing so far this year. We got a real chance to finally win a league title or the Champions League. All right, subs on final uh, final eight minutes here. Nacho Molina, great dribbling there. That's actually beautiful from him. Gonna play it to Rafinha. Rafinha is going to get a great ball to Trent. Molina, Molina tries to get it to Lamine Mall. That's going to almost work. It does work. Lamine Mall shoots. Lamine Mall has four against Napoli. Okay, this has been the uh, Lamine Mall game. I guess the number 10 is not too big for him, although once again, it's a very scrappy goal. It's been a very uh, scrappy game, but 5-0 against a very good Napoli team. Once again, I think we are the real deal this year. Next match, though, is going to be, it is more drop points, 2-2. Uh, Yoker is on suit, man. We can't draw against teams like Asasuna. We're just letting Real Madrid come back now. Um, one more round. So, see that? That's going to be a bounce back 3-1 win. I'll take that. Uh, Jokerez, Pedri, and also Ansu Fati again. So, with those drop points, we still have a seven-point lead over Real Madrid. So, we're still good. We've already scored almost 50 goals this season. That's insane. Now, last year, if you remember, though, in the Champions League versus uh, Bayern, I played a rotated team. And I think we lost, like, a uh, 4-1. And that is our next game facing Bayern at home. Now, this time, I am not playing a rotated team. I'm playing my first team. And we're going to try to get revenge on Bayern Munich. If we can beat Bayern pretty uh, convincingly here, you know, like 2-3-0 at least, then I'll be very confident for the uh, knockout stage and we're also kind of scouting Musiala here could be a January signing it's one of the uh, possibilities I think they're in 17 so they're not having a great Champions League but they're still a very good team on paper on their day they can beat any team Musiala shot Ter Stegen saved to start that was almost a bad start for us Sané plays it to Kane Kane okay no I just let him turn Ter Stegen another good save though okay Bayern are proven to be a threat again only 10 minutes in Musiala oh Musiala is insane Araujo Gets it though, and we will get that out. Trent is gonna play a ball to Balde. Balde gonna head it to Pedri. Pedri, great ball over to Lamine on the left. Lamine gets inside. Lamine Yamal again. Lamine Yamal, what a finish and what a counterattack. That was so swift from Trent at right back all the way to Balde. And then finding Yamal. That is so many things we changed this year with Trent, our tactics, everything. All working like perfectly. And leading to Yamal having a great finish across goal here on his left foot. All right, Bayern have been dominating the start, but we go up 1-0. 17 minutes in. Trent win the header. Okay, De Jong steal that. De Jong is going to steal that on Musiala. Pedri gets it to Ansu. Ansu, man, we just let Doom Free steal that. Frank De Jong from distance. Why not Frank De Jong, man? That's his long shot spot. He's going to hit the crossbar. That rattles the crossbar, actually. Why not again? Why not again? Okay, we're going to hold it. Pedri making a great run. Pedri, one touch. Great control. Oh, the shot was so far off, though. That is not where I aimed. Okay, they got Courtois. I just noticed that. Uh, Bayern have Courtois, so maybe that's why Real Madrid are no longer good. Okay, Davies runs through, and no one can catch up to his pace. Araujo tries to slide. He's going to score. Bro, that burst of pace, when they do that, you just cannot catch up to them. I guess it goes both ways, but they just have, like, no chance to recuperate that. All right, 1-1, one, one, and that just feels like a fluky goal right there. Rafinha taking out. That's going to be a yellow card, probably. Pedri making a run, though. Pedri to Yamal. Yamal, okay, I'm not going to shoot that. Get it to Trent. Rafinha. 
get it back to Trent now. Trent is going to wrap his foot around that. Ansu is there for that. Okay, that was a good cross. Ansu got too, uh, too close to it. Pedri, great defending. Going to play it to Ansu. Ansu, great first touch. Get it back to Pedri. Swing it over to Rafinha. Rafinha. Frank and Young from distance again. It goes right to Courtois, though. Okay, this game feels like the like the Man City game. We're facing an elite club on paper, and it's showing. Although, I still think they should not have scored that goal they scored. Trent to Lamini Mall. Lamini Mall gets it back to Trent. Okay, we're going to get a free kick out of that. It's got to be Trent uh, whipping this in. But we're going to try to put some uh, pace on that right there. Trent, that is a very inviting ball. It's going to be cleared, though. Balde gets it on. Suk, we find something in Rafinha. Okay, that actually goes to Yamal. Yamal into Trent. Trent cuts inside a little bit. Left-footed shot by Trent. Another rebound, bro. We just keep scoring rebound goals. It's 2-1, 54th minute, and it's Ansu Fati again. Is it because I take a lot of shots from distance? Like, I don't know. I just keep getting these rebounds. It's a very good shot by Trent. Like, I honestly thought that should have went in, but Courtois saves it, but he can't save the second shot. All right, 2-1 to Barcelona. Ansu, definitely been the surprise of this series by far now. If we sign a player in January, it's probably not going to be a left winger because I think he has that lockdown. If it is, it's going to be a backup to him. Ansu has earned that starting left wing spot for sure this year. And that is so surprising. I did not think he'd be good in this series really but last year off the bench he played so well you know he made me think about it this year we gave him a chance and he's taking that chance completely so we got some work to do though to uh close this game out and they're playing very slow all of a sudden they're trying to catch us out on one of those little sprints i think little speed boost moves we got 15 minutes to seal this win rafinha oh i could have stole that i should have stole that and they're playing slow in the final like 20 minutes here they're really trying not to lose in a bad spot putting pressure though i mean oh i thought i was gonna steal that trent on sane sane's gonna get by him trent has got to recover here kunde is kind of providing backup gets to a rahul rahul gets it from kane that was so dangerous. Young to Trent. Trent is going to play a good ball to Lamine Yamal. Lamine, a chance to see what Lamine Yamal. Oh, I went for a toe poke finish and he saved it. Bro, that would have sealed this win. Right, four minutes. Let's just defend here. We win this. It might be game. Araujo wins it. Balde wins it. That might be game. We got a minute left. Trent skips by that tackle and we wasted enough time. So we beat Bayern 2-1. Okay, so definitely not that convincing. I mean, our goals were lucky. You could say theirs was too. It was a close game. Like that doesn't give me the most confidence for the knockout stage, but it's still a win. So I'll definitely take it. So once again, seven point lead in La Liga and currently sitting first in the Champions League. Every single player has stepped up this year. Yamal is settling into that number 10 shirt and stat wise, we are looking very, very good. Now, next episode though, January transfer window, we have a chance to make the uh, the final signings of the series. We also face Real Madrid for the first time of the season. We currently have 146 million to spend. Do we make some kind of signing in January? Drop a like down below if you want to find out. And on screen is a video that you might like too.